Hello everybody, I'm Anna Masters. I'm the new principal at Marici College and I'm incredibly blessed to be here. Well, we've embarked on an incredible adventure to come to Canberra to join the wonderful community of Marici College and to join the Archdiocese of Canberra Goulburn. Uh, my husband's moved with me and so that's part of the wonderful experience of coming to a new city, uh, finding out about a new environment and a new culture and a new community. And why did I want to come here? Many, many, many reasons, uh, including I'm incredibly attracted to uh, the International Baccalaureate and any school that supports that approach to teaching and learning and that experience. I'm attracted and I was attracted to Marici because it's Catholic and it has an absolute, at its very centre, very powerful values around love, around service and around achievement and around that idea of um, supporting young women especially to really achieve and start growing towards a sense of human fullness of being which is part of my mission as an educator. Passionate about education, I have an education educator of 34 years plus. Uh, I've worked in independent schools, in Catholic schools, in systemic leadership roles and uh, for me, the most meaningful experience is to come to a school, be part of that community, to connect with the young people and to journey with them as they become lifelong learners. It's very important to me as a woman in Australia in the 21st century that we are supporting our young women to really get that sense of self-efficacy, of agency, of a sense that they can do and that they can find with great confidence their own personal skills and abilities and talents and use those then with confidence and with joy and with passion to really impact on the world and make it a better place. Uh, girls' education for me is something that personally is in, important given that I'm a woman too. I have daughters myself. I think girls learn in a specific way they set up and establish a certain culture as learners and uh, that female learning culture supports other girls to take risks, wise risks, to really push their boundaries and uh, move into fields that they might not necessarily move into if they were in a co-ed um, environment and, and especially a co-ed learning environment. Uh, that being said, a good girls' education really does seek to foster social and emotional intelligence as well, uh, cultural skills and um, you know whatever girls' learning environment there is, they will be fostered by the, the programs that we run. I think the charism is uh, deeply unique. It is a merging of six wonderful charisms that uh, come from the founding orders. It is based around the charism of St Angela Marici who was a medieval educator, who was a doer, who really sought to empower women. So I think that's very much uh, part of the DNA of Marici College. Angela Marici was a stargazer, she was a pilgrim, she looked to the future, she looked to horizons but she just didn't do it by herself, she did it with others. So she had companions and they journeyed together to achieve great things. And I think that's very much part of um, Marici's way of being. Of course, some of the other key differentials for Marici is that it is an IB world school. So we are accredited as a middle years program and a diploma program school which means that not only are we seeking to impact on our own personal lives and that of our local community and our national communities, but we have a very distinctive global outlook, outlook and global perspective and that sense of reaching out beyond ourselves and who we are. It's very much who we are and it links beautifully to what Angela Marici was doing in the 15th century. I think we, um, as a Catholic school, we're definitely um, informed by our membership of probably one of the biggest global institutions in the world, the Catholic Church, and so we've got that wonderful outreach and tradition to build upon and to shape for the 21st century as women in the church. I think that's very special. 
to Marucci College. Another thing that stands out to me as I, as I enter this community is the richness of co-curricular opportunities. The girls can be involved in clubs ranging from poetry through to art, through to debating. I was speaking to some girls just yesterday who row. Um, I've been down to the sailing. Netball is incredibly popular, as is basketball. So I think uh, there is something special for every girl to get involved in that is unique to her. So it's not just one thing for, you know, we're not fitting square pegs into round holes. There is choice and a chance for girls to experience success and um, have fun. I think other things that stand out to me as I come into the school is we're inclusive, that we are a school that seeks to educate and love and nurture girls of all abilities, um, all um, you know, learning and life experiences and I believe absolutely deeply that we are a richer community because we are an inclusive community and I saw that last night at the Year 11 conference with um, wonderful young women being included in the, 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 the togetherness that was evident there. I think another thing that stands out for us is that we are comprehensive school so we're non-selective so we do cater wonderfully for all needs and the staff are experts in that space and we have incredible staff. I believe that we are a school of choice for expert educators who want to work with young people and grow them and grow their own expertise and show and model their own learning and I think that's a very powerful um, part of the culture that is the Marici culture. I have been absolutely impressed by the initiatives around social justice and around our service learning and that sense of outreach and of the other and that we have women for others in this school and it's actually not just the girls, it's the staff and it's the community that gets thoroughly involved in outreach and service programs. And our Angela's Angels are um, just wonderful. And the girls work towards achieving recognition by doing, not just by um, saying. So they actually live their beliefs and they live their ethics and we see it day to day in the girls at Marici, which is very exciting for me. And another thing that I'm and I was thrilled to become part of was our passion around sustainability. Um, you know, Pope Francis a couple of years ago wrote very powerfully about how we're living in our common world and that we have a very deep responsibility to nurture our common creation and our environment. And Marici does that and has been doing that for years. And our girls are very conscious about being active in terms of nurturing and protecting and sustaining our common environment. And we see that in our programs, we see that in our academic offerings, we see that in our food every day, in our fabulous canteen, and we see that in the wonderful garden patch that we have here that actually supplies our restaurant and our canteen. And we see it in what the girls do, getting into that earth and um, working very actively to sustain, to sustain our environment. One of the really special things about Marici College is the pastoral care and wellbeing system and structures. I think of it as a safety net, that we work with every single girl to make sure that they are safe, that they are feeling happy, because in the end, young people who aren't happy will not learn. We know that just from you know, neuroscience. Young women especially need to have strong relationships with each other, but also with the people who are working with them and caring for them. So that's the foundation of what we do here in our wellbeing and pastoral care programs. I think one of the other simple factors that supports our young women as they're growing is um, the, our size, that we are not too big and that we're not too little, that, we, um, that every girl feels known and feels nourished and feels cared for. And, I think, especially in girls' education, that is really, really significant, it's really important. But we're also big enough to be able to offer all the subject offerings, all the multiple pathways that um, we can to facilitate the individual growth and the individual 
journey to success for every girl that's here at the school. So how does our pastoral care system and wellbeing system work? I think we're pretty unique in Canberra, certainly, in terms of the structure. So we have a house system that is a vertical house system, which means that the girls that come in in year seven journey in a little house group, it's like a little family group, with their bigger sisters. And then as they grow through the years, they become the big sisters looking out for the younger ones who then join into their special house group. The house groups are strong, they're almost like mini subcultures within the school and it's more than just sport and playing in carnivals. These are very powerful, well-being, caring networks within the school. They're looked after by pastoral care teachers who then work in a team and they work with the house coordinators who oversee that team and then we have a head of junior school and a head of senior school who runs that team, who then speak to our um, deputies de of development who oversees the entire program, who then work with me. So in terms of a, a network of um, wonderful care for young people, I think it's a very powerful one here at Marici. Part of um, that sort of deep relational connection with young people and understanding how young people grow, need to take risks, the fact that they make mistakes. We're a restorative practices school, which is a way of um, approaching the development of young people. So when they do or make a mistake, it's not punitive, it's not detentions, it's not um, punishment and pick up papers, which people don't learn from. So. The, the reason why you take risks, you might make mistakes in your learning but also in your personal life and your, your social and emotional development is that you need to learn from that and that's what we do as human beings. So our process is to sit down with someone who's made a mistake to work through that problem, concern, that issue with them, really analyse the harm that might have been done and then work very proactively with that young person into how that um, how the balance can be restored, that's why it's called restorative practices, and how that young person can learn and then maybe not do that again. That takes time, it takes care, but it certainly takes knowing that young person and caring for that young person and ensuring that they grow from that experience. So that's a very powerful part of our pastoral care and wellbeing program. Already I'm very proud of um, the history of wonderful achievement that our, our Year 12 students have been achieving. So I've looked into it very closely and one of the things that attracted to me to Marici is the multiple pathways that our young women can follow and that is defined by their passion and by their interests and by their strengths and skills and talents and that's a richness of the school here. And as they go through that journey, something that stands out for me and we can see it in the data and the statistics is that those girls achieve brilliantly. They, we're so proud of the depth of, um, and the excellence that is achieved by our young women. If, be it a vet course, be it in terms of their hospitality and, and chasing their dreams, be it in terms of wanting to be an engineer and their engineer studies and the wonderful achievements they get in that. The um, ACT certificate and the BSSS and what our girls can achieve there. Our ATAR results are exceptional and we are always seeking to achieve excellence with our young women and foster them to achieve the best that they can possibly achieve given the time they have with us. And to feel that they can keep learning whatever pathway they choose and that they're empowered to do so after they leave us. When someone comes to join Marici, there is a wonderful, there is actually a range of trans transition programs that are put in place to make that transition from be it primary school or be it coming in at year eight from another school or one of our young wonderful defence children who are coming from all over the place uh, or we have quite a few students who join us in year 11. There are really almost bespoke programs designed to ease that transition into our community and so it's for example the year seven transition program is beautifully designed so the girls are connected with, they're introduced to um, staff, 
They come in for an orientation day in term four in the year before they come. There's a whole induction process that's gone through and our big sisters and our transition leader, which is a wonderful um, leadership role that we have at the school, actually works with a team of peer students to look to that welcome and that ongoing sense of welcome and settling in to our um, new Marici students, new Marici girls, so that they settle quickly and are inculcated into a very powerful culture and they feel that this is their place and that they're a Marici girl as well. Angela Marici worked in team. She chased, as a pilgrim, the stars. So we acknowledge and we know the research shows that we must work in partnership with our parents and our community. It is a village that raises our young. Our tradition is one that's about inclusiveness and that we are a church of people caring and nurturing the coming generations. So for us, working with parents in our community is incredibly important. We know that our parents are our primary educators and that we do work in partnership with them. That's reflected in our governance structure. So right from the top, we work with a school board who are made up of parents of, of different skills and talents, who work with us, make decisions with us, who are act as our Parents and Friends Association so that they create a strong network amongst the parents who are working together in unison to work with us as the educators on the ground. We have school functions and barbecues deliberately designed to bring our community together. There's a wonderful, I believe, gathering of alumni later on in the year. So as I said, and, I, and I've said before, people don't really leave once you're in Marici College. Not just student, but parent and former parent, you want to come back and be part of our community. So there are lots of opportunities for people to be involved as mentors, as expert mentors in the learning of our girls, creating that sense of community and helping us make major decisions. As principal of Marici College, there are some key values and words that stand out to me. And they're ones that I want to cherish and I want this school to absolutely build upon. Faith, hope, love, agency and dreaming.